Hey guys, welcome to Brit Indians. I'm Joshua. What is the timeline for the process that you have to go through before you are coming to study in the UK? When should you apply for your uh, universities? What is the wait time for your CAS letter? When should you apply for your visa? We will discuss about the entire timeline for the initial process that you will go through before your study in UK. Especially I will tell about the September and January intake. So let's get into the video. First, when should you apply for the universities? For September intake, universities will keep their applications open from previous year October to July of the same year. So, for example, if you're going for September 2021 intake, then universities would have already started their applications from October 2020 and they will have the applications open till July 2021. Some universities even keep their applications open till September for September intake, but your process to get your loan approval if you're going for a education loan then the loan approval will take some time so it's better to apply earlier uh, the time which i would suggest is within may you should apply to the universities in the uk for september intake for january intake it is the same way so the applications will be open from previous february till october of the same year for example if you're going to january 2022 the applications would have opened from uh, february 20 21 and it will be open till uh, October 2021 uh, even universities uh, they keep the applications open till December so uh, but I, like uh, as i said i will suggest to apply earlier if you're going for an educational loan and especially if you're planning to take an IELTS exam for your english uh, then it's better to apply earlier because you have to prepare for your IELTS exam for at least a month and then you will give your exam and then your results will come in 14 days so that itself will take like one half to two months so it's better to apply earlier so keep that in mind and apply earlier because if your english uh, score is less in your higher education then you should take your IELTS exam so it's better to Uh, apply earlier and then see what is the conditions in your offer letter and then try to solve that conditions after applying universities will take 2 weeks to 1 and 1/2 months to get back to you with your offer or whatever decision they have taken if it's a conditional offer then you have to fulfill the condition within the time they have given and if it's a non conditional offer then you won't uh, need to fulfill any conditions you can proceed to the next step now you have accepted your offer so when will you get your cas letter so for cas letter it will take a minimum of 3 weeks to uh, maximum of 1 and 1/2 months some universities will ask to do pre cas interview uh, so universities like hertfordshire t side so those universities they usually do pre cas interview so if Uh, if you are having the pre cas interview then once you finish your pre cas interview then you will uh, have like a timeline of 2 uh, weeks to 6 weeks for your uh, cas to arrive due to covid this time can increase so it's better to do the process earlier during the period in which you are waiting for your cas letter you can start processing your educational loan because the process of loan approval will take a minimum of 1 month to a maximum of 3 months depending on the manager and bank so it's better to go earlier if you are using personal funds or your money from your parents then um, you can start moving your funds to your account or your parents account uh, because you have to maintain the funds for 1 month so it's better to move earlier and then maintain that for 1 month and take the statements so by the time you receive your cas letter you may have got your loan approval or you may have maintained your funds for 28 days so so you can process for your visa after that once you submit your application mostly you will get your appointment within 1 week and you can submit your documents to the vfs center after that it will take 2 to 4 weeks to get your visa if you need to get the visa sooner you can go for a priority or super priority in which you will get your visa within 5 days overall let's say for september intake start applying early may your offer acceptance will be in early june start your loan process in mid june you will get your cas letter in early june you will get your loan approval in early august um, apply visa in mid august and get your visa in end of august so for jan intake start applying early september uh, you will get your offer acceptance early october 
start your loan process mid october uh, cash letter early november loan approval early december apply for a visa in mid december and get your visa end of december if you want to speed up the process you can apply earlier than this as soon as you get your offer try to search for accommodations immediately because it will take a minimum of 1 month to 2 month to finalize your accommodation the earlier you search the better accommodations that you will get amber student is one of the best reliable student accommodation in the uk you can register to them through the link given below in the description they will contact you within 24 hours and they will guide you throughout the accommodation process so they will give you options they will uh, finalize they will give you the contract details they will guide you through a to z of your accommodation i have already made a video about their accommodation you can go and check it out so hurry up click the link below in the description and register with them for your accommodation search i hope this video is useful for you uh, i have detailed the timeline for your uh, application and everything in this video so if you have any queries just leave it in the comments or you can message me in instagram if you like the video hit the like button share the video and subscribe to the channel we will meet in next video until then goodbye cheers